Mary. So today I'm going to do a promise video and much requested. I have made chicken and dumplings for you guys and super easy. I did that on a vlog and I mentioned that I might remake it into a chicken pot pie and super easy. The dumplings, some of them, you know, disintegrate and you can <laughs> have some stealing cookies. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> Some of the dumplings just kind of fall apart and it thickens the broth and makes a thick sauce. It's perfect. So whenever you have this much left over, it's a pot pie. It's got all the veggies in there. We're gonna add a little bit to it though. I wanna add um, a couple of things. Okay, frozen peas. I don't think you can have chicken pot pie without frozen peas. And that's about a half a cup. So no measurements here, none at all. We're just going to, but look, can you see how thick that really is? It's real, it's thick. It'll thin out um, in the cooking process, but we don't mind. We'll let that yummy homemade pie crust. And I have a video on my channel for homemade pie crust, so I didn't do the pie crust to keep the length of this video down. Uh, I've got my cast iron um, pie plate. I'll leave a link for that if you guys would like. And then I had some, um, Leftover, we had chicken, uh, pesto chicken baked, and I had a little bit leftover that wouldn't fit on the sheet, so I went ahead and sauteed that up in some garlic infused olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the pan. I don't want any of the liquid though, because I don't want this any thicker or thinner. And I might add a little bit of cornstarch just to be sure because this is more like a soup or stew consistency when it's hot so I'll add a little bit of cornstarch to the mix and you could use potato starch you could use um, potato flakes even and thicken that up I might do that and then I've got my dough here so super easy now after I made my dough I went ahead and put it in the refrigerator keep everything cold 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 and I use I can give you the recipe verbally. I use uh, a third of a cup of cold butter and a third of a cup of lard. And you could use Crisco if you want, but I find that I get a better pie crust with the lard. So that's how I do it. That's how my grandma did it. And I'm just gonna cut it in half Maybe, maybe I'll lend, I'll lend a little bit off of one to the other. Cause you need a little bit more, I think, for the bottom. It's gotta come up the sides and everything. So we're gonna go ahead, flour our surface of the counter that I've just cleaned off. And I just made cookies for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go ahead, and you don't want to get the dough warm again, but go ahead and make yourself a disc. Flour your uh, rolling pin. I love this rolling pin. Roll your dough out till it fits your pie plate. If your dough is trying to spring back on you, let it rest a minute. This one's trying a little bit, but not bad enough to make sure you're not sticking anywhere. If you are, flour that surface and keep on rolling. All right, so I'm gonna get this all rolled out, put in the pie plate, and when I come back, I'll show you how <laughs> you fill it and put the top crust on. And we'll bring in for a close up for that so you don't have to watch me from afar. But hopefully you guys are sitting down having a cup of coffee or something else and uh, I feel like you guys are all right there in the counter in front of me. All right, let's do this. Ooh, and I get to test out on cast iron my new pot holders that were given to me. Handmade. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate those. So, I'm almost there. We'll get this rolled out and in my pan, and then we'll come so, back. So, now, we've got our top crust here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this 
onto my rolling pin. This pie crust rolls out so beautiful. I'm just gonna tell you, it's, it's pretty much foolproof. Very flaky, very delicious. And if you're new at pie crust or bread and you've had some that you feel like you failed a little bit, just keep trying. It's practice. I'm gonna cut off the edges here. Leave it overlapping a little bit. And we'll get to the filling. Mm -hmm. Yum. Okay. I love this. And I make a little bit bigger recipe than a normal pie crust recipe because I like to have plenty of dough. I don't want to run short. I hate it if I run short. So you can always make a savory pinwheel with that excess, which I might do. Um, okay, so now we're gonna take our thick pot pie mixture and it goes right in that pie shell. And look how perfect. So that little three pound chicken, we had two dinners out of it. I had lunch and now we're having another dinner and I guarantee you this will be dinner for tomorrow night too. So, or the next night, whichever we choose. And there you go. How easy is that? It's a um, dress that up in a different outfit kind of night. <laughs> That's how I do it. Just dress it up in a different outfit. So now you're going to take your top crust and over the top it goes. And I could have had more filling in there, but that'll keep us from eating way too much. And I'm going to trim off some of these edges. <laughs> Do that with a pair of kitchen scissors if you want. It makes it a little easier. And then we'll do our, um, our crust as far as the edges go. And you can do that any way you want. So once you get all your crust taken off there, put it to the side, go ahead and I like to tuck it under, underneath itself. And that's why it's important to have plenty of crust. Okay, so guys, the pot pie is done. It's had a chance to cool. And kind of like I said in the video, it was gonna be a little bit thinner in the middle, but I don't even mind. We have that delicious pie crust. Ooh and my husband's patiently waiting. Pie crust, I'm gonna take a picture of the pie. It, it smells amazing, and I'm sure it is, because we've already tasted the filling. Mm. So, who doesn't want pot pie on a cold winter night? Mm-hmm. Mm. There was a piece of bottom crust in that. Absolutely delicious. So now I want to taste a little piece of the top crust with some of the pie. Mm. Ooh, with all the veggies and everything. Mm. So good. So I hope that you go ahead and try to do this. Do a makeover, dress it up in a different outfit, and um, your family will love it, I promise. We're gonna go eat this. Well, he's gonna go eat this. I'm gonna have a couple bites, but I'm still full from lunch. We went out to lunch today, and I'm gonna treasure my um, pot holders. They're fantastic. I don't want any other kind of pot holder now. Anyway, um, and as always, guys, go down in the About section below. Check the links that I've left for you. I'll have a link to the cast iron uh, pie plate, it makes fantastic pies. It's a nine inch pie plate, but it's cast iron. The crust comes out perfect every single time. It's the best pie plate I've ever had. Now I know there's others out there that do, you know, a good job, but this is my favorite. It's my go-to. All right, so check it out in the links below and don't forget to check out Zaycon Chicken. And we're gonna go eat dinner. Ooh. Yum. Alright guys, bye!